What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So the moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. I know you guys have been waiting anxiously. For more details about this upcoming LRB pan that's dropping for the four year anniversary on JP. And now we finally have that information on hand courtesy of this blog written by our boy Dokkaner on Twitter. So thank you so much to Dokkaner once again for providing the leaks. But of course, as always, everything is in French, and if you guys can read French, then here's information for you right here. But unfortunately, while I can read a little bit of French, I don't trust myself enough to give you guys an accurate translation directly, so we're actually gonna pop over to Twitch, I'm not, not Twitch, to Reddit real quick, and uh, look at these translations provided by Zaid on the Dokkan subreddit, so thank you again to Zaid as well. He actually provided information about the uh, possible new boss rush stage on my last video too, so uh, that's two videos in a row. Thank you so much, Zaid. I'm still not sure if I'm saying your name right. I hope I am, but thank you very much. Okay, so here's the translations, courtesy of Zaid. He says, Pan will be the first of the new gen cards to possess an active skill, which is a skill that's activatable, is that a word? Activatable <laughs> manually under certain conditions. So if you guys are a little bit out of the loop, basically they're introducing like new game mechanics, these new active skills, and there's a bunch of them, so the whole list of different active skills that different units can use. Um, but she's gonna be the first unit that has this active skill and essentially once a certain condition is met, then you can do some kind of manual gesture on the screen like, uh, maybe like you have to draw a circle, you have to do like a little flick or whatever and activate this skill and it has some kind of effect on your entire team or uh, the unit itself or something. So keep, keep that in mind. Pan stats are uh, 16,788 attack. I'm assuming these are rainbow stats by the way. Uh, sorry, uh, 16,788 16, HP, 10,734 attack and 8,239 defense. Her leader skill is going to be regenerates 3,333 HP when a character takes a color uh, orb of the same color as them. So, I mean, that's fine. I mean, the leader skill doesn't really matter. I don't think anybody's really going to be running her as a leader, but just so we have that information on hand. Her super attacks are going to be uh, 12 key is colossal damage with a chance to stun. I believe a chance is probably going to be like 10%. And her 18 key is going to cause mega colossal damage with a medium chance to stun, which is about 30%. And the active skill is all allies attack plus 33% for one turn and is activatable manually after three turns of the battle once. So after three turns have passed, you have the option, or maybe you have to, probably an option. You can probably choose to like click something and activate that active skill. And uh, she will increase the attack of all your allies for one turn. So it's not the craziest active skill, honestly. I've seen some other ones where you can like double the amount of key you have or double your attack or uh, increase your turn blood by one, like maybe like double your turn, or something like that. So there are a lot of crazy, crazy active skills out there, but she is the first or one of the first cards. Actually, she's probably gonna be the first card in the game because I'm assuming she's gonna get her awakening before like the new um, Dokkan Fest cards that are dropping for the four years. So I'm guessing she's gonna be the first new gen card, right? That's what it says at least to get this new mechanic, which is very exciting, even though it's not the craziest it's still a free to play card that has this new mechanic now that everybody can get which is fantastic so uh super exciting there and her passive is going to be regenerates 33 percent hp um of damage inflicted as hp that regenerates 33 percent of damage inflicted as hp and a high chance of reducing damage by 55 percent so she's still going to be a great tank and her stats are going to be even higher now which makes her an even better tank than before and her links are legendary power instead of more than meets the eye and everything else is the same and it would seem that tokening to lr will bring voices to this card so second thing that's super exciting number one active skill right so you guess that active skill increases all allies attack by 33 percent for one turn number two it gets voices now i don't know if like if it's gonna be like a long voice line or it's gonna like just make a sound or something just like like a yell or like a scream but Anything at this point is exciting because we've never had voice acting in this game for any card ever, right? So um, she's 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 ushering the new generation basically like this LRB pan is ushering in the new generation of cards for Dokkan and uh, that's actually pretty damn exciting. So even if, you, even if you weren't that high on B pan, even if you were like, yo, why are they making B pan and LR is just a freaking joke? Um, you should still be excited about the fact that she is like 
you know she, she's bringing in these new mechanics like she, she has all these these two new things that no other card in the game has ever had before so uh super exciting there b pan's gonna be solid at least right she's, she was already like an, the mvp of super battle road and i think that's gonna be even further like you know that's gonna be even more true after she gets her lr awakening she gets she gets to do a little bit more damage she can tank even better and uh she now can actually even better support your team and she has voices too which i mean could get annoying considering it's pan <laughs> but it's still cool and i can't wait to see it and i mean aside from that it's just exciting to know that cards from from then on will probably all have active skills they'll probably all have like voices and all that stuff and uh that's just awesome i'm, I'm really excited so uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the details for the LRB pan. I'm I'm hyped. I have her rainbowed on global, and honestly, I was regretting it a little bit because I'm out of like STR orbs now. Like I have zero STR orbs. I can't even buff up any of my um, like for example, Super Saiyan three Goku, the STR one that's getting extremes the awakening on global. I can't even give him a single orb because I have no STR orbs because I gave all of them to B pan to clear that hybrid Saiyan stage. But you know what? That's besides the point. That's besides the point because you know what it ended up being a good decision because she's getting an lr awakening now even though on global i have to wait about like five six months but it's okay it's okay it's gonna be a worthy investment in the end so <laughs> that's all i want to say for this video guys like i said let me know in the comments down below what you think of this b pen what you think of this active skill thing what you think of the voice lines and whether or not you're hyped for all this stuff that's coming very very soon but that's gonna do it for the video as always if you guys like the video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell because youtube is dumb they don't like to notify anybody of my videos and streams so hopefully hitting that notification bell will help with that a little bit but that's it I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.